Hello guys, and welcome back for another strange and interesting indie game. Today we're looking at one called Tiny and Big. Now I have to admit this is more of a demo, maybe a tech demo, than an actual full-featured game, but it definitely is worth checking out. Uh, if anything, for not only its incredibly interesting and engaging looking art, uh, also for the amazing use of physics and sort of like geomod technology, if you remember. Uh, old Red Faction used to use that, and to quite good effect, and then they started to get crazy with that series. So the goal of this game is to climb this mountain and get your underpants back. It's a noble goal, indeed. And to do that, you're given a few tools, which are pretty much exactly why this game is interesting at all. So let's take a look here. So I can aim at the blue stone and push and hold, and that's going to open up this rotating thingamajig here. And this is actually... well, anyone played Dead Space? There you have it. So that would be your left click. Your right click is actually going to drag. And you can continue to slice and dice these things into little tiny bits. Now I love the art style of this. It's like a strange cross between like a comic book Psychonauts sort of cell shaded thing and some sort of like Ren and Stimpy almost. I find it very interesting and uh, really interested to know what they could do with the full game. So the majority of this demo is just you climbing a mountain. And usually that's not the most interesting thing in the world, but when we're given tools to play with like this, and some sort of crazy traversal mechanics, I'm sure we could get into quite a bit of trouble. Controls are very easy to use too. Basically just a click and a drag and then you're cutting stuff. And you can't cut everything, these, these signs, they won't uh... They won't work. Gotta be stones, but you can just keep cutting them. And you can cut multiple stones all at the same time. That one's being stubborn. Let's give it a yank. No? Maybe I didn't cut it through all the way. There we go. Oh, as you can see, I made already some cuts and it goes through. Sort of like what I was hoping Metal Gear Rising was going to be about. Thunderbolt action. Alright, so they want me to make it fall in either direction. Oh, didn't even need to do that. Kind of did it by itself. That is one hell of a ladder. Alright, let's go up. Super ladder climbing time. Oh. Thought I'd actually climb it in real time. Oh well. And as is common with uh, most uh, betas and, you know, most games in general nowadays, uh, just suffered a fatal error, so... Had to relaunch. But that gives me an opportunity to show you this. Which is kind of cool. I don't know how they work though. There we go. You can fire little rocket propulsion things at these and then use them to somehow. No, thought I knew what I was doing. There we go. So uh, just like Gary's mod. only wants to shoot down. Let's go that way. There we go. Yeah, I spacked that thing right out of the world. There it goes. Grinch. Nurse. Oh, now it's dancing. Really love the textures on this. They're very soft and sort of pastel looking. Almost hand painted. Oh, 
Love to see what this looks like if you take it to a different location. Alright, let's go back up. just happened. He's wearing the pants on his head, so he's pants on head retarded. Got a hook and a laser, should be easy to reach that little thief. Reached. No! Pull. Haha. <laughs> actually attached to him and then he just kept going. Oh well. So here we go, this is actually a time we can try out some of the actual gameplay by doing things like this. Look at that. See if we can do some destruction here. And just for good measure. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. Whoa, I didn't know that was falling. Okay. Should probably have, uh, Looked a little bit more before I left. Let's go and cut this so it falls toward us, hopefully. And if it doesn't, I can pull it. Mm, no. That's not what I was after at all. Well, maybe I can use this as a platform or something. Let's just slice it again here. Make sure it falls. Probably fall, yep, exactly down the middle. So, whoa, I fell again. Okay, well, I guess I need to. Alright, let's use a little bit of thinking power and try cutting something in a way that will actually be useful. This is harder than it looks, guys. Uh, that'll do it. <laughs> Just wondering what happens if you get caught. Now, obviously, they want me to cross using this. Make a big cut. With a little luck, maybe it will eventually cross this gap. If it doesn't, maybe I can pull it across. Brilliant. No, it keep, keeps moving. There we go. Do not slip, he tells me. Oh, well, I slipped. How do we approach this situation here? The most obvious thing to do is just cut everything a lot and see what happens. That probably solves all my problems, right? My idea was I could actually just jump across them. If I go a little bit... Okay, grab that. Yoink! Yoink! Alright, everything will get out of the way.
No! This is one of those games where the, uh, jumping momentum stops the second you let off the key. And I wasn't expecting that. I think I know how to solve this, though. Not falling on me. Don't do that. Get out. Get out. Alright, this seems like a better path so far. How about... How about that? Uh oh. I think I cut the thing I'm standing on. Go! Crap. Get out. There we go. Still spinning down there. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I crossed that gap. Maybe I can make this whole roof cave in. That would be interesting. No, nope. what about this one? There we go. And this one? Back my way through that. I have to slice a little edge off of it. And it's up again. Nope. There we go. I accidentally made myself a path. Yeah, he actually pushes when you get close to stuff. I like that. Bothered to put the animation in. Pretty sure this volcano is alive. So up. Before Graham's time, get him down. Okay, well, I gotta cut his legs off. Seems like the only option, right? Push. Damn it, push. Push harder. Any second now. Um, cut. This is not a very climactic way to end this. Cut. Can't seem to cut anything useful. I just start cutting randomly into this thing. That'll do it. Ah, screw you, buddy. game, but I love it nonetheless. I can't wait to see what they can do with this with a full experience, because uh, it seems like the options are nearly limitless. I'm sure the main character could use a few new tools or something, but maybe that'll be part of the experience as you move on. And again, I really love the graphics. Um, controls might need a little bit of work, but I definitely recommend checking this out, it's free. And I will post the link in the description like always. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed a quick look at Tiny and Big Up That Mountain, the beta demo thingy. Have fun getting crushed, guys. Talk to you later.